Hey, Shalom, 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 Akim. You know, before I get in this lesson, you know the spirit of Pai by Shema Risha, by Shema Kakodash. I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, or Kakodash. And next up, double honors to our apostles, not elders, the great millstone, who still go out there on the highways and hedges. They feed us with 100% truth, according to the Bible. And her rural is Shalawam, Labacharya, Wabarakim, Shayashirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. And the last book with Dash, the Hebrew tongue. It's going to be a quick hit through the spirit of Pagyal, Bashim al Shah, Bashim Kakwadash. You know, it's going to be primarily uh, on Revelation, the third chapter, about that word patience, okay? So this is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 10. And it says, uh, this is Lord Yahweh Shah speaking who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, right? At the top of the, uh, on the head, it says, the message to the church at Philadelphia. Now, we know the churches, the seven churches of Asia Minor, okay, were Israelites, okay? So I'm going to read the scriptures. This is the book of Revelation, chapter th uh, 3, verse 10. And it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, right? So, Lord Yahweh Shah said, um, primarily talking to the elect, because because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. And the hour of temptation is when they make the MOB, uh, the RFID microchip, okay, uh, mandatory to take, all right? You know, it's going to be um, a worldwide... Um, uh, a mandatory event, you know. So, because the elect of the nation of Israel, which hope uh, Lord is willing to be those men, Yah Bashim is going to put the spirit on his men to resist it and to have faith and have that fear in the Lord, man, you know, and continuing to be faithful unto death. All right. So, we'll read this one more time. So, uh, this is the book of Revelation 3, verse 10. Because I has covered the word of my patience, right, that's contained in the Bible, right, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, that word world there is orkimene, which means all the world, all the all the inhabited earth, to try them that dwell upon the earth, right, the word try means to test, okay, and when you look at the definition of the word patience, I got it right here from the Cambridge, no, it's not from the Cambridge, just from the online etymology dictionary, it says, uh, of course, there's a lot of definitions for it. It says, quality of being willing to bear adversities. Now, adversities is calamities, a.k.a. Uh, hell, okay? So, the quality of willing to bear or to catch hell, man. You know, when you read, um, as a matter of fact, it reminds me of a quick precept. Let me go to it. Uh, what is that? Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai. Right, so the scripture says to endure hardness. Hardness is the same word as uh, adversity. You know, hardship, to uh, tribulation. Okay, so we got to endure, which the word endure means to make hard. You know, so all the hell that we catching now, Yahweh Shai is making us hard. To We'll be able to be like, listen man, I don't got nothing in this life. You see? All the things that I sacrificed in this life, I'm going to receive a hundredfold in the kingdom. So you might as well just go ahead and chop my head off, man. You see, that's going to be the boldness on the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be in those FEMA camps or concentration camps that has to be faithful unto death so they can really receive that crown. You know? So now we're going to go from there because uh, I said patience, right? So let's stay in the book of Revelation. Let's go to the book of... Uh, the 13th chapter in the 9th and 10th verse. Revelation 19 verse 9 and 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. Right. So if he got uh, the understanding of the scriptures, receive this saying. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. Captivity is slavery. And underneath the uh, international bank of families, the wicked elites, begin with the Rothschild family, Okay, we're still in captivity, referring to our people, your so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, your Israelite foreigners, according to the city of fathers. But the Lord is going to flip that. 
you know, the Lord is going to flip that with the main, with the, starting with the elect, going to enslave the elites, okay? And it says, uh, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. The sword is any killing instrument, right? You know, back when they started the conquerors, they was actually using literal swords, different weaponry of uh, ancient times, you know, and then the 1400s. Yeah, today they got the guns, they got the food, you know what I'm saying? They got the technology, the 5G tower, they got the radiations and stuff like that. You know, so they're going to be killed with our blessing, man. They're killing us with their blessing, so now they're going to get killed with our blessing, which is those spiritual powers, right, in those bodies. It says, here are the patience and the faith of the saints, right? So the word patience means to suffer. And I got another definition. It says, ready, eager, or prepared to do something, right? So what are we ready? What is the Yahweh Shemashah making us ready, eager, and prepared to do? To be faithful unto death. And, you know, if that be our lot to be put to death for the name of Yahweh Shemashah, he's putting that 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 hard bold spirit into his elect, which those will be those men to uh resist, you know, the MOB, the the, the chip. Okay. You know, be ready to lose our family members, be ready to lose, you know, some brothers got kids, you know, whatever we hold in dear to us, so to speak, in this society. That we have, you know, your Yahweh Shem Yahshah is going to put the spirit on us to be like, listen, just, you know, if you got to get rid of them, do what you got to do, you know. So, I believe that's it through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahshah. Like I said, this is a quick hit. Um, let me see. I think that's it through the spirit. Uh... Matter of fact, this is the book of Hebrews 6 verse 12. Uh, matter of fact, I started verse 11. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end, right? So stay on fire for this truth. Keep on doing the work, going down the highways and hedges and making these videos, right? Until the end, because it's all about finishing the work. Verse 12, I said, that ye be not slothful, which means they're lazy, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. And like what's the promises that Yahweh Shemashah promised our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, on down to, to us, you know, that we're going to get those bodies, you know what I'm saying, that we're going to have that everlasting kingdom, as in Isaiah the 14 chapter say, you know, underneath Lord Yahweh Shah and King David and righteousness, man, beginning with the elect. So those windows edifying through the spirit, till next time I say Shalom.